Hey y'all, uh, this is an old pressure washer. The pump went bad. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a 12 volt charger generator out of it. And that way I can use it to charge 12 volt stuff or for a power inverter or something like that. Same thing as what most of the other ones on YouTube are. But it's a six horsepower Briggs and Stratton Intech. And I'm going to try to use, keep it mounted. I want to mount it something like the way it's setting now. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I think I'm going to have to turn the turn the engine and all around the other way to where it'll run where the belt will be running running this way instead of that way but we'll see how it works out okay okay I kinda got it set up how I want it and looks like I'm gonna be able to leave it well I couldn't leave it I'm gonna have to move move the engine over you see those those were the existing mounting holes and I'm gonna have to move it to where it's at now but that's kinda how how I want it set up that way it'll transport a battery and it'll be I can use it to jump start cars I can use it to charge batteries if I need to and the main thing I'm building it for is to run the winch on my car trailer which I've showed you in other videos um, you can just take this and throw it in the back of the pickup truck or whatever and run it and then I don't have to leave my I don't have to leave my truck running to run the winch because the truck drinks a lot more gas set and running than this thing will and uh, plus it won't be wear and tear on my truck but I'm gonna get all this mounted up and uh, see if I can make it work and uh, another thing another thing I'm making this for is to run a power inverter in case the power goes off I've got a 5,000 watt generator you know but if the power goes off just for a few hours I can use this to run a uh, thousand watt inverter I have you know and keep my refrigerator and stuff going you know um, if the power doesn't come back on then I can get the big generator hooked up but I'll get all this going and uh, make another clip all right I got the engine moved mounted back on there should work out pretty good I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna pull the recoil off and rotate it to where when you start it it pulls out this away instead of right there where it's at because it's kind of awkward I don't know why they did that but we'll, we'll get another step done okay I got the alternator mounted Sticking out a little further than I wanted it to. I wanted it to be about right there. But I think a shorter belt or maybe a bigger pulley up here would, would do that. Uh, but that'll work for right now. But I'll show you what I did here. Took two pieces of angle iron and you can see where I drilled the holes in them and how I drilled them. Um, I'm going to make sure it's going to work okay like this before I weld these if it works okay then I'll weld these around here like that and you know I'll probably just leave the bolts in but we'll see how it works uh, next step is going to be the adjuster rod tension or whatever you want to call it has got to go in there like that somehow or another so the alternator can move to tension the belt but I'll get that set up, get it mocked up. Okay, you can see better now how that thing got to go on there that I 
I don't know what you call it, adjustment rod, whatever. But I think what I'm going to do is right here is just do the same thing I did for the bottom of the alternator over there. I'm just going to get a piece of angle iron and drill two holes in it, put bolts through it, and see how it works. And if it works okay like that, then like I said, like I do over here, I'll weld it. But I don't want to weld anything until I know for sure that that's where it's going to go because once I weld it, it's going to be permanent. Well, not permanent. I could take it off if I wanted to, but I just want to make sure everything's going to work right and, you know, before I make it solid. But, okay, we'll get that mounted up and show you how it looks. Okay, I got that bracket mounted on there. See how I did it? I had that little piece of that little thing, that little piece of angle iron there. It was a muffler bracket off of a, one of the mowers, and it already had holes in it. So all I had to do was drill a hole to put that through. But it's got the belt good and tight. Uh, I'm gonna start it up. how it works. So y'all hold on. Here it is, I got it finished. Got it wired up. That little switch right there, that's to turn the alternator on and off. You see the battery has got 11.9, 12 volts. But, um, we'll start it up. Like I said, I don't know if this alternator works or not. So, we'll start it up. See what happens. Give it a little gas. Oh, it's cold.
homemade redneck style 12 volt generator jump starter whatever you want to call it